What's going on? It's your girl Cuta Queen here, back with another video. Now, I want to talk about some of the releases of this year. Not necessarily for the full year, because I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, because things change as the, the months progress, the quarters progress, and so on. So I'm going to keep it to quarter one. But first, if you're loving the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're liking the content, make sure you hit that like button and if you have any thoughts comments concerns any feedback hit that comment section because me and my royals we talks about it first and foremost let's be clear a lot of things are coming out not everything i'm interested in so i'm just kind of showing some of the things that i found interest um based off of some of the pairs that i stumbled upon um and so we're gonna get into it though all right so kind of already touched on the chinese new year drops so as it relates to if you haven't saw my last couple of videos actually i have one pair that i, I favored out of everything that i had seen um, from the chinese new year lineup um, but as it relates to some of the nike and jordan um, based designs the lows surprisingly i find to be kind of a a, a close second to the Ja one that i chose to cop um, and so Jordan one low year to dragon that one right there is a one already talked about it already but again I'm not a big Jordan low fan but that one right there is super duper clean um, and then that low two uh, women's is my understanding it might, well actually what I've come to find it is gonna be like a women's a men's and a grade school version of both so um, the pairs that I particularly favor um, for the Jordan 1 low is the men's version and then the uh, the 2 is what I understand to be the women's version so um, but that's those as far as some of the additional January drops it's supposed to be a Miami Dolphins dunk low as well um, and it's not so much that I'm super excited about it per se but I just think that the Miami Dolphins colorway is just one of the best combos that sort of teal and orange like it's just it's just one of the perfect color combos out there that's not your your normal like the black reds and the um the navy blue and red and or gray and navy blue like the the more common combos um i think that's one of the outlier combos it's actually one of the better type of combos so um but the date that i'm seeing on that is january 17th so um if you're looking to cop those look into that for this month um they say it's a slow month but you know hey that, that's kind of nice but one that i actually do kind of care about um is the reebok answer three the og black and white so it seems like every since shack and ai ai for Allen iverson i know ai means something completely different that was weird but anyway ever since Shaq and Allen Iverson have taken over the kind of leadership roles at Reebok. I feel like they're starting to pay more attention to what we would actually want to see because Reebok was milking the hell out of the questions. Like every other day it felt like it was a different color combo for the question. Colors we had never seen before, never cared about, never thought we would ever care about and later down the line still didn't care about. So um, some of them had been kind of cool but overall it was really oversaturated and overkill. But this answer three black and white OG definitely excited about it open to find a, a date later down the line with the white and reds as well I get both those I'm good but the date on those are slated as far as what I saw for January 19th okay all right so the top of February it actually starts off with a pair that I'm, I'm mad that I won't be able to actually have but because it's a grade school flavor um, it's a Valentine's Day dunk low um it's I, I mentioned it in a previous video a recent video but a previous video that i don't do red shoes anymore like that but for whatever reason that particular dunk low <laughs> i find it be dope but it's grade school so i can't do anything with it but um yeah man i think it's i think it's super dope it's super fresh for those that can wear that particular size Definitely, I think that would be a good choice, especially for those that kind of care about the Valentine's Day theme. So it's cool to see some themes around, you know, Valentine's Day with multiple pairs of actually seeing. So, but that particular Valentine's Day dunk low grade school pair. 
it's kind of nice. I love to see somebody that can fit those with those. That'd be dope. Those are slated for February 4th, by the way. All right, so and just sticking around February and the top of February rather. The LeBron 21 era Gnite, I think is what it's called. So um, he's he's, do he's doing the whole dragon ocean sort of uh, thematics with some of these colorways. But anyway, you may have noticed that I haven't been that hot on the LeBron 21. But this particular colorway though, um, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. It kind of has that sort of, uh, it, it looks kind of like it's denim, a denim upper. And then that gum bottom right there, like I just think it's it's one of the better colorways that I've seen with kind of that light teal lacing and then those gold hits. So I think it's a cool pair. Uh, if I get them, it won't be with the thought of, hey, I'm getting these because I want them in my collection because LeBron bought out in them or nothing like that. It'd be more so like I'm getting them because that's finally a colorway that I'm interested in. I think that colorway is pretty dope. I still have yet to purchase a LeBron 21. So those are slated for February 8th. Okay, as we get into the middle of February, that's when things start heating up a little bit. So I think y'all already kind of have y'all a uh, choice on what y'all gonna go ahead and do for mid-February. But the pair that I think is uh, pretty dope to top off or pretty dope to cap off the mid-February is the Air Jordan 1 OG High women's gold metallic okay that pair is super duper clean to me for whatever reason i got rid of my gold toes so now i'm kind of in need of a gold combo sort of jordan high um jordan one high rather these the ones right here definitely could see being able to break these out in the spring in the summer dressing sporty you know cute whatever the case might be but um these things is, these is fresh these is fresh so these are actually slated for february 14th which is very um timely for those of you with a valentine you know maybe you want to nudge nudge your love <laughs> nudge the love of your life because <laughs> these will make a dope dope gift so um february 14th for those and then on february 15th a pair that i have no expectation of actually being able to secure is that trophy room air jordan one low okay listen the pair looks clean the pair is uh probably unattainable but the pair looks clean so <laughs> good look for everybody to have a plug to go ahead and grab those i'm looking forward to seeing you know those in hand on foot and all of the things so if i do secure them just know i was just lucky i wouldn't i ain't pulling no strings no nothing so again trophy room air jordan one low okay and this pair Everybody's talking about it time after time after time every day. There's a video of some form about this shoe. The bread for reimagined, okay? We didn't beat this one with a, we didn't beat the dead horse, okay? The horse is dead. Um, the ants are stumped. The, uh, the, uh, the, the fire uh, is not necessarily extinguished, but the fire is, is, is a flame, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, I definitely, I think these are clean, they're dope, I think I could definitely wear the crap out of them and not even have to worry. Because first and foremost, they're not the OG pair, they're not the New Bucks Wade pair anyway, right? But uh, they're a clean pair, um, I love the reimagined concept on how they did these, making them leather versus New Bucks Wade, and um, yeah, I have no, there will be no emotional ties to the shoe. So definitely plan to wear the crap out of it when I get them, okay? So it's looking like February 17th for those. Okay, and February 23rd, an actual classic retro is dropping. The LeBron 4 Fruity Pebble, okay? This right here, this right here, the LeBron head is not gonna let it pass, okay? A LeBron head is not gonna let them pass them. Okay, definitely, I'm, I'm loving what Nike is doing with retro and the classic colorways of LeBron um, and making it attainable for everybody. Now, it's a $250 price point, so uh, uh, I'm gonna kind of heat check the situation because if folks aren't checking for them, like 
what they were checking for them back, you know, many years ago. Go ahead and get them for a little bit lower than 250 okay? So, not in a rush. I'm not going to wear them right away, but they're definitely a necessary pair to add into my LeBron collection. So, February 23rd, LeBron 4 Fruity Pebble. Oh, I did miss a February, uh, mid-February pair. It looks like there's going to be a Michigan Dunk Low coming out, but not the, the one that dropped, what, it was like 2021-22. It looks like this one is going to have a white, or um, it's going to have black in the color blocking to go along with the maize and blue. So I think they're pretty cool. I mean, they're, I'm not, I'm not super uh, wild by what I see in terms of how they executed the colorway, but at the end of the day, it's a Michigan colorway, so I, I can't be mad at that. And um, you know, speaking of Michigan, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure by now we well into this video, and y'all see it. Y'all see it. <laughs> We're rounding this out with March, okay? So at the beginning of March, it looks like there's going to be a, a combo of Dusty Cactus colorway for a Dunk Low and then a Women's Air Max 1. So I'm grouping these two together because to me, that it feels very pack-ish. You know, I'm, I'm one to put a pack together that I, I, I call, I, I self-proclaim a pack you know so that's what that would be so it looks like it's march 9th both of them are very clean definitely a nice spring shoe um pop that off and these would drop right ahead of spring so perfect timing perfect color clean clean and for the jordan heads of the world looks like march 23rd that og air jordan 9 powder blue is gonna make its way upon the surface definitely a clean colorway of jordans I might even cop them. I mean, I haven't had the powder blue before, so I definitely, I do find myself liking some of the nine colorways. That is one of the silhouettes that, I don't even want to lie to y'all and say I would like more nines, but <laughs> it's a color, it's a, a silhouette I wouldn't mind having more options of, okay? And that powder blue is pretty cool. So if y'all see me with those, you know, don't be surprised because we talked about it here, okay? So the powder blue OG, Air Jordan 9, March 23rd. And then finally, on March 26th, we got the Air Max 1 Big Bubble Royal Blue, okay? So, you know, Nike is, is, is definitely wanting to take this big bubble thing to the next level. The best way to do that is to start with the OGs. They did the Reds last year. Now they're doing the Royals this year. So I may have to go ahead and grab those. Um, I did not grab the big bubbles. I may reach back, but I didn't grab the big bubbles because big bubble OG Red is what I'm talking about. I didn't grab those because I already have the uh, the previous pair that came out. I think that was 2016, 17, one of them. Um, so I didn't really feel like I needed that pair, but I may reach back. But anyway, with this Royal, I may go ahead and grab those. They do look clean for obvious reasons. It's an OG classic. Um, and that big bubble ain't too bad. It ain't too shabby. March 26th for that, which actually is on Air Max Day. So perfect drop for the perfect day. Apparently that's our Air Max Day drop. I haven't seen anything else as it relates to that. So hopefully as it gets closer to March, we'll start to see some Air Maxes that might be available. That's first quarter 2024, according to Q to Queen. In terms of the pairs that I found interesting, obviously it's a ton of other options out there that, that are coming out as well, but these were the pairs that I found as to my point, interesting. There'll be other things that will surface as the, the weeks go by. And um, yeah, that's it. What y'all looking forward to? Is there anything that I didn't mention that you guys are looking forward to that you plan to grab or just something that caught your eye? Either way, let me know what y'all thought of these options as well in that comment section. And until next time, <laughs> go Lions and uh, <laughs> royalty. <laughs> Queen is hyped up. The Queen is hyped up.